Hello. So recently some people have been getting in touch with me. Um, they're kind of struggling with how to load my custom patch bank for the Minilog XD onto uh, their Minilog XD. And uh, so in this video I'm going to... Uh, I have a brand new laptop here. I haven't even installed anything yet onto it. So I'm going to go through the whole process of how to connect your Minilock XD to your computer, how to transfer the patches back and forth, how to manage it so that you can have, you know, my patches and the factory patches and your own and like just uh, all that stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to put time stop, time stamps in the description. So if you already know how to do some of this stuff, you can just skip to the part that you're struggling with. Uh, yeah, so hopefully this will be helpful. All right, so let's get into my computer over here. And uh, I guess the first step will be to check out the files that uh, come when you buy my own, when you buy my patch bank. So when you download my patch bank, you'll get like a, a file. When you buy my patch bank, you'll get a file like this. Um, and so I'll just extract this to my documents folder. And then close this. And so my files are now in the documents folder. I have like a little readme and uh, it tells you where to find the Korg software on the Korg website. So I'm just going to copy that and head over to that in a browser. Um, of course, you can just go to the Korg.com website and, and just uh, navigate to this by going through their products pages and stuff. Um, got it. All right, so XD. I'm going to download the one for Windows because that's what I'm using. Software, and it's down here. Uh, wonder if there's anything. Sometimes it's, they have a driver. In order for the XD to con connect to your computer, you will need to install the latest version of the driver. Okay. So I'm also going to install this driver. Um, I don't know why this is loading. Weird. Quick start. Don't need that. Owner's manual. Don't need software. Okay. Librarian system updater. Don't want system updater and drivers. All right. So they have other useful stuff. Uh. All right. So now. These two things are finished downloading. Um, I'll install the driver first. Next. I accept. Typical. Copying files, registering products. All right. Do you want to restart now? No. Never want to re restart. Um, all right. And also install the librarian. Uh, if there were more than one file in the zip folder, I would uncompress it first. But since it's just one file, it, it'll just automatically uncompresses it to some temporary folder somewhere. Um, and it works. Okay. Um, all right, so what you need to connect your mini log to your computer or what I at least recommend is a USB cable. Um, this is like a 
the boxy kind that we used for printers back when people owned printers. Maybe people still do, but uh, yeah, I think it's called USB A or whatever. But on the back of the mini log, you can see it's right there. I'm just gonna stick that in there. Um, and then stick the other end in my computer. Uh, all right, so now I'm going to pin this to start. All right, so now I'm going to open up the Mini Log XD sound editor and oh, receiving all program data from the Mini Log XD. So it seems like the you have to restart before it works thing. Seems like I got away with not restarting. It's working so far. Um, And I'm just going to, so it just received all the patches from uh, my mini log XD, which is all the patches that are in my patch bank. And uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure hidden at the end are another like, 80 pat or maybe not 80, uh, like 50 patches that um, I didn't feel like really made the cut, but they're there. Uh, I think they're there. We'll see. Um, so, all right, so just in case, I'm going to save. Save. What do you do? Save as? Uh, mini log XD backup uh, timestamp. Let's file open. So this is what you get from my when you buy my patch bank. I'm gonna open that. Yeah. So all these. Uh, so there's like fifty. Fifty-ish. Um, extra hidden hidden patches at the, the end of the bank. Anyways, so what you would do if you um, already had those 200 patches uh, from the factory and you want to keep those, you just, you know, it's already selected here, the first one. So from the first one, then you scroll down and then select it's the last one, which is 205. Now, I think what we can do is just um, drag it. Uh, so maybe I have to drag it to patch um, like 400. And then, where does that put it? Yeah, so now it goes from, okay, so I need to put it at like 405 because I have 205 patches. All right, so once I've dragged the last one to 405, the first one now starts at 200. And, oops, I think I don't have to send all or so now the first 200 are in it, they're just blank, but that, that doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to make sure just my patches are selected. And then I'm going to click send. I think I can just program data. I'm going to make sure I send programs. If you send the library, I think that sends the whole 500. Uh, I don't know. All right, send program data. Yes, this will rewrite data on the Minilog XD. Sending programs to the Minilog XD. It makes no indication that it's doing anything. So, fingers crossed, it's working. Um, all right, so now it finished. Um, 
It was buzzing earlier. All right, so now, uh, yeah, so now patch pa patch three hundred and sixty is uh, ice drops, which it wasn't before. Before it was just blank. So, so that sent. So let's check if the first two hundred patches are undisturbed. Yeah, so the first 200 patches are undisturbed, and so because I, I, I did send program on, uh, and I didn't do send all, I just said send, and I had the ones selected, patches like 200 to 405, only patch 200 to 405 got overwritten on my mini log, uh, and so I think if you're just, if you already have just like a fact, just the factory banks on here. I think it's only the first 200 are uh, taken up. And so you would just be adding mine to the end there. But uh, you just kind of have to uh, check when you, which, where, where, where the empty slots are, send it to the mini log. And then, um, and then if you want to back up the whole thing, you can receive from the mini log and then you'll get, uh, you could get like a new li library uh, here on the, on the, on the, in the software that uh, you can save and back up. Um, so I hope that explains how you do this. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything important, but I don't, I don't think I am. Um, it's really that easy. I thought this was going to be more complicated. All right. Uh, please comment if you have any, if, the, if anything was unclear, uh, because I can, I can do this. I can reshoot this with uh, more clarity. But yeah, that was easy. Um, if you do run into problems, if the the software doesn't recognize your your synth, uh, there is a bug in the Korg software where um, the, the 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 synth has to be one of the first ten USB drivers installed to that specific USB. Or to yeah, one of the first ten USB drivers installed, and uh, it will change. Like if you install it with another USB port, like if I plug it in on the other side, like it'll install and it'll it'll go later. It'll like you can run into a thing where you have to it'll it'll install the drivers for each port, and so it can cause big problems. Uh, so I guess you know. Number one, just stick to the, always the same USB port for things that you connect to your computer, because otherwise you'd just install multiples. And um, there's software. Uh, there's there's a video that's in the README um, that I included with the download, and I'll put in the description of this video as well that explains how you fix this problem. Uh, but basically, you have to use a program, um, or maybe it's built into Windows. I can't remember. Uh, but you, it, it's there. But basically, you have to in, uninstall a bunch of uninstall drivers until your Korg stuff is in the top first ten. And you can all, obviously always install your other drivers again if you have like a mouse or or uh, whatever it is, a printer, you know, whatever you have. Because um, that stuff doesn't need to be in the first ten. There's no reason it should have to be in the first ten. This is just like uh, like a a bug. Like whoever wrote the software for Korg just like did a loop. They just check the first ten or something. It's a it's a mistake, uh, and Korg is notorious for not fixing their broken software or updating it or doing anything. They just they release it and it works, and then as soon as it doesn't work or they think it works, and then they don't do anything. It's like it's hard to ex understand. They've been selling the micro Korg now for like fifteen years. Uh, it uh, hasn't been su since since Mac Mac stopped supporting uh, thirty two bit software. It just they don't, it just doesn't work for the Mac anymore. Um, it's crazy. Like they have current products where they just haven't updated the software in like 15 years. Anyways, um, enough rambling on that. Uh, it's very disappointing, Korg. Uh, it's not. I mean, you know, I've written software. It's not that big of a deal to fix this stuff. Like it's it's like organizational problems like that are causing this problem. It's not like a technological hurdle. Anyways, um, take care. Bye.